The next one, let me turn over there real quick, is in Luke 10, 20. Jesus again is speaking here, and he said, Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. He's speaking, the apostles came back and were rejoicing that they were able to cast out demons. But he said, Rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And again, Jesus said it. If Jesus said something, it's, it's firm. It, you cannot, it cannot be moved. And we see this all throughout his ministry in the earth. He calmed the storm by his word. He brought Lazarus from the grave by his word. He spoke it. He said it. And so if, if we can read the scripture and see what Jesus has said, we're able to hang our, our hope, our faith onto that. Another place, uh, Jesus said, what profiteth a man if he gains the whole world but yet loses his soul? This is another way of saying what he said here. We don't want to rejoice in the works that we're able to do because they're done unto the Lord, but we rejoice in what the Lord has done by writing our names in, in heaven. Another thing I thought of whenever I was preparing for this was when the Lord wrote in the tablets of stone the law. He wrote it. It was permanent. And as long as we abide in Christ, our names are permanent. They don't, they're not removed from this book, from the Lamb's book of life. They're written in heaven. Another aspect of this is that you're known in heaven. If your name is written in heaven, you are known there. The, the brethren that have gone on before us, the angels, all of them know us. Even though we do not know them personally yet, they know us because our name is written there. And so we're able to take hope in these words that Jesus spoke. We're able to, in the, in the valley, to be able to hope and know that our names are written in heaven. On the mountaintops, we're able to rejoice with the Lord and know that our names are written there. And this is a good, a good question. I know that I've asked myself in the past when I've been in a valley, is my name written there? Do I know Christ? Do I still believe? And you can answer honestly and know that your name is written in heaven. So we want uh, to be able to, to, to gain, gain strength from this. We want to be able to rejoice in this. This is something that the Lord has given us to see, and so we want to be able to rejoice. So all the, all the redeemed will rejoice that our names are written in heaven. Who would pray for that this evening?